Good to be here today with one of our amazing mentors on the trip, uh, Yulia Blanova from Zignify. And Zignify is also a sponsor of the Amazing in China trip. And today we're going to talk with Yulia about the reasons you should maybe consider coming to China, maybe the reasons you you wouldn't consider it, how it compares to other uh, countries that you're sourcing from, some of the other mentors that are going to be coming on the trip. Uh, and I think Yulia is going to tell us a story about how she saved a client, what, over six figures on an order? Uh, it, Pretty crazy. We have quite so, a few customers, yeah, with, with situations like this. Absolutely, yeah. Yes. So you know, those are the things that you know I also experienced in China. You know, really going in person and just maximizing my margins and just game changing things. So we'll tell some good stories today. But welcome, Yulia. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for being part of the amazing in China trip. Why don't you tell everybody? A little bit about you and about Zignify and the other mentors that you're bringing along that will be coming along on the trip. Sure. Uh, hi, my name is Yulia. <laughs> I've been working in product sourcing for the last 18 years. I spent nine years living in China. Then I spent a few years living in Singapore. First time I came to China was actually in 1993. I was still a baby. Uh, but I live, I, I originally come from Russia, so I live right on the border. So I was traveling with my grandma. Um, I, I, and my company, we work with a lot of different sellers. Um, Amazon is one of our customers, for example, and we deal with product sourcing. And of course, one of the countries that is extremely, extremely popular for sourcing has been for the last 15, 20 years and still will be as much as people want to, you know, say political situations, et cetera, et cetera. China will still be there in the next 10 to 15 years, if not longer, being a dominant in terms of manufacturing because they have the capacities, they have the expertise. So I think this conversation should not be about why should people consider, but why people must go to China to visit the Canton Fair, because they must realize how amazing uh, their prices and their communication and partnerships with the manufacturers can be if they meet them in person, if uh, and how wide the variety can be. So um, some of the people who will be present during the uh, the sourcing trip for the Canton Fair, there will be my partner in life and in crime. That's uh, Sebastian Hertz. Uh, his last name means heart. And my last name, Blinova, actually in translation from Russian means pancake. So it's heart and pancake. Uh, he has been, he's a brand owner, uh, Amazon seller himself since 2014, since we lived in China, actually. So he's been through it thick and thin. He visited Canton Fair more than once, and he can definitely recommend it. And he visited tons of other trade shows, and I as well, across the world. And Canton Fair is something absolutely out of this world. And another a person who will be a mentor on, on this wonderful trip is Grace, Grace Lee. Lee, very popular last name in China. Um, she is the head of our China sourcing department. She has 15 years of experience in sourcing specifically in China. So she is a pro who is local, but who has by now my very hardcore and very pushy Slavic brains and mentality so you know you need to negotiate a little bit rougher with the manufacturer in a very respectful way but a little bit pushy um yeah so we have wonderful people i think uh during the canton fair and uh, we have wonderful stories and wonderful experiences so i can tell you some examples of how i know uh, people we worked with saved uh, a lot of money by going to canton fair if that is something that interests you yeah. So, you know, I'm, first of all, I'm so excited. I've been to the Canton Fair many times. I've been to China many times, but for me to also learn from, there's always more to learn, learn mm -hmm. through walking through the Canton Fair with you, with Sebastian, with Grace. I mean, I know that I'm going to pick up so many tips and so many um, additional just learnings that can bring my business, my selling to the next level. Uh, I'm excited to do that with you guys. Yeah, so one of the big things for me when I first went to China um, and it continued to happen 
was that I found um, suppliers that I couldn't find online. Um, I also really found innovative products that were similar to the products I was already sourcing remotely. Um, and not only were they more innovative than what I was doing before, but also I got much better prices. Like I'm talking, I was paying six to eight dollars a unit. And I brought it down to $2 a unit and the product was more innovative and it was different than anything else that was selling online. So it was really, really key for me. That was just like a, a um, you know, groundbreaking kind of uh, experience that I knew that I, I couldn't just dismiss China, as you said, like it's, it's not just, you know, it's a must. There are other places to source from, but going to this is, is a cool experience. So yeah, tell us a little bit about some of your experiences in China and how those were kind of game changers as well. Well, from my perspective, uh, most of the people that actually all of the people that I know, I don't know anyone who uh, from our community, right? This Amazon world, which is actually very tiny, who actually exhibited at the Canton Fair or any other Chinese trade show. I have. I actually, like with the companies that I used to work for when I lived in China, so I exhibited at a few Canton fairs and global sources and the Hong Kong Electronics and be in Beijing and Shanghai, Xi'an, Benzhou, all of those places, right? So I have the experience from the perspective of the attendee and also from the perspective of the person who is exhibiting and providing the information. We need to understand that in today's day and age, we're extremely overloaded with information. So everything we see is literally on, Ali, uh, on uh, everything we see on different types of online platforms is basically just scratching the surface, right? Um, a lot of people don't know how to sell themselves or sell their products. They don't know that they can promote themselves online so foreign companies can find them and then they can place an order and everyone is happy. But they know about the Canton Fair. And how do they know this? Because Canton Fair has been in existence for a very long time. They are promoting themselves in extreme ways within China, and they're trying to attract as many manufacturers as possible. So what is the number, I think, right now? About 60,000 exhibitors during the three phases of the Canton Fair. This is insane, right? And you, obviously, there is never enough time to meet all of them. But the point being is, when we're going online and we're trying to find the manufacturers, we're literally just scratching the surface. But if you want to, what is it, to strike gold, to 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 have the, the gold fever and all of this, you actually need to take a shovel or better, an excavator, and dig and get all of that gold or diamonds or whatever kind of things you know you prefer. And that is in order to achieve that, you actually need to go to the Canton Fair because there's so much choice. There's so much innovation. It's insane, right? When I'm looking for new potential products, I don't go to Amazon. I go to Taobao, right? Taobao is the Amazon of China. And you search for the potential products in there because you said yourself, the innovation is on different levels because when Chinese manufacturers see, oh, these guys are buying this water bottle, so let's not invent anything new. Let's sell the same water bottle to everyone. Why? Because it's easy and people will buy. So if you want to find innovation, if you want to stand out from the crowd, like with anything else, you need to take that extra effort. And that effort is going to count on fair walking for a week straight if you're counting your steps you can eat a lot of calories on those days i promise you you don't need to go to the gym because you will have the most wonderful conversations you will find the most innovative products you will get wonderful prices great moqs you can see samples right there in front of you so the time in the nine days you will be in china if I were to compare it with the time when you're doing everything online, this is nine days versus, let's say, three months, four months, in some cases, six months of work, maybe a year, depending on how many products you're looking for. We have tons of examples of our customers when we went with them to Canton Fair, right? They already had some manufacturers in China. Uh, and we said, guys, 
we can do better, right? Let's go together to the Canton Fair. We'll go, we'll, because it's still good. To, I mean, you can speak English. It's absolutely not a problem. Most of the people speak their wonderful English. The rest will speak what's called Chinglish, right? But you will be fine as long as you are okay with you being called dear and darling, right? This is cultural things we need to remember about. But we had some customers with whom when we went around, um, we found some manufacturers together that uh, saved on, on an order, right? Like $150,000 directly on the first order. Yes, a bigger customer. But uh, again, you can find wonderful price differences. Plus, we need to remember that not everyone has the capacity and the knowledge of how to sell. I mentioned this, how to sell themselves, but also how to outbid others. When you're an Amazon seller, you pay for advertising. You need to pay crap load of money, excuse my French, to be on the first page. There, It's no different when you're a manufacturer and you're trying to sell yourself. But they have enough money. They can spend 5,000 or 10,000 RMB to be an exhibitor at the Canton Fair. And you can go there. They have a small factory, but good enough. They can handle your capacity and even bigger. But they have better pricing and they want to make money. They're hungry, right? And if you're their first foreign customer, I don't see a problem with that. As long as you're looking after this very well, you'll be fine. Um I've been to many different trade shows across the globe, um, not only in China, not only I worked them, but again, visited them uh, all over Europe, all over Asia, in Indonesia, Malaysia, Germany, Mexico, US, many different countries. And Canton Fair would be the staple event in comparison to anything else that happens in the world because it gathers so much information in there, so many manufacturers, so many various and absolutely different products in every category that it is an extreme value overload for anyone who is going there. And it's the money that you're going to spend on this trip or going on your own or going with us or anything like this. This is going to be a tiny drop in in the revenues that you're going to be making, in the uh, achievements and in the advantages that you will gain from just going to the Canton Fair. So yeah, I love Canton Fair. I love walking around there and getting my steps. I love talking to the manufacturers and finding the most innovative products. I, I mean, Chinese innovation is just off the charts, right? I live in Europe, so any innovation is good, but Chinese innovation is just off the charts. And they have wonderful manufacturers who pay very good money to developers all across the world from all of the nations to develop the best products that are out there. Simple. Yeah. And, you know, some people might be wondering, you know, I completely agree. There's a lot of innovation. Um, some people might be wondering, well, yeah, but I want to innovate my own products. I want to, I, I don't want to use their products because then anyone can sell that. But I love product development. I love developing unique products. And just because you see someone else's innovation doesn't mean you cannot take that then and build on that and make your own in, and innovate yourself. But what would you say to people who are concerned about, you know, they're developing their own products, um, they're innovating, and they go to Canton Fair and they see an innovation that they want to build on. What would you say to them about being concerned about a manufacturer taking their idea? I can tell you this. Again, I've been in this business for actually it's all, almost 19 years. I keep saying 18, but almost 19 years. And for the last 10 years, I've seen a tremendous improvement of the manufacturers being extremely careful, cautious, and very protective of the information that their customers provide to them. I mean, don't be a dummy, sign an NNN. Again, not an NDA. NDA doesn't work for China. Need to sign an NNN. Sign an NNN and you'll be fine, right? Um if your product is something extremely innovative, something that needs to be needs to have a utility patent or a design patent, then get that. But if it's something that you found at the Canton Fair and you want to build upon this, absolutely not a problem. We have literally tons of customers for whom we're doing this, and so far so good. A lot of our manufacturers actually, both coming from Canton Fair and all the other places, they came to us and say, hey, 
someone contacted us and they want to purchase what your customer produces. Do you, you're not going to allow this, right? We're like, of course not. Okay, good. They come to us, the manufacturer comes to us and says this. So all of those things, they can be discussed during the the content fair. It's extremely, look, the, the point of the matter is we live in the digital world, right? We're doing recordings through Zooms, Gooms, Googles, and all of those things. And people, like 10, 15 years ago, this was called telecommuting and all of that stuff. And it went up and it went down. And now, again, during the corona, it went up and it's again going down. Because at the end of the day, it is always better to meet people in person. So a lot of people, when they find manufacturers online, they later on go to China because they want to even more strengthen this relationship. They want to use going to the factory for their marketing campaigns, et cetera, et cetera. If you're going to Canton Fair, you're already meeting those manufacturers. You're already seeing their eyes. You're already seeing, are they shifty? Are they not? Are they good? Or their customers? You can torture them for all of the information that you require directly at the spot. Communication will go so much faster. You're in US, China, time zones, all of those things. No, you're in China, you're in China, together you're talking. And again, there's so much information to absorb there. And you're building that, which, which is a famous Chinese phrase, guan si. You're building that relationship with the people. So it's extremely important. And this will elevate your business a lot faster than that of your of the people who did not come to the Canton Fair. We, we truly see a difference between people who meet the manufacturers like this and when they find them online. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of that, um, let's talk about key benefits. Um, I agree. It's all in communication. And, you know, I have the same experience. I have not had any of my clients, you know, when we're developing innovative products, I've not had any of my clients had a problem with um, a Chinese manufacturer stealing their idea. You know, as long as you're you're making sure you're following the proper steps, which our trip includes all of the training on this. So there's just you have all the resources you need. If you're at the Canton Fair and you have questions, you have all these mentors that are going to be there to answer your questions. We're going to be eating so many great. You talked about calories. Like we're going to be eating the greatest food. We're going to have so much fun together. And so at the evenings, when we're done with the fair, we can ask each other those questions. Get, oh, I ran into this today. Like what should I, you know, how should I navigate that? There's so many opportunities to learn and grow. So let's talk about the key benefits of coming on a sourcing trip specifically to the Canton Fair. We already talked about saving money building relationships with suppliers, growing, you know, your business in that way, seeing innovative products. But what are some other key benefits that you would say that people are going to get by coming on a sourcing trip to the Canton Fair? Again, numerous amount of manufacturers, numerous amount of potential products, numerous amount of ideas and motivational content, not only from the manufacturers, but from mentors as well. As you said rightly, you know, I go to a lot of different trade shows, exhibits, et cetera, et cetera. I'm a speaker and all of those things. And uh, if it's a one-day event, I don't have time to talk to any of the people. If it's a two-day event, some people, maybe five or ten people will go through me, sort of speak. But because we have those nine days, right, you will be sitting and talking with the experts who literally have years and years of experience um, in the topics of sourcing, purchasing, product development, sales, all of those things. So I think actually, you know, if we take all of our hourly rates of how much like I charge for consulting and stuff like this, this is like, and, and how much the person, for example, on the source and triple spend talking to me, this is tens of thousands of dollars uh, saved, right? So this is the information that I've accumulated in the last 18 years, living and working abroad with tons of different companies. This is literally precious. So um, one of the important things, and I think this not only has to do only with Canton Fair, right? But with visiting China in, in, in general during the Canton Fair, you will have a better understanding of the culture 
and how to communicate with the suppliers properly. Because we all have, we come from different countries, all right? I'm, I'm from Russia, I'm Slavic, I have one mindset in the way I communicate with uh, Chinese. They have a very different mindset, right? There is a big thing about losing faith. So all of those things we can discuss as well, and you will see in reality how people behave. You will be learning, and this in the future will help you get better products from your manufacturers, build relationships. Sellers can also communicate between one another and share ideas, right? So these are some of the things that I would say are benefits of going to China and for the Canton Fair. And if we're talking Canton Fair versus any other trade show out there, again, I said I've been to many of them, and the staple of all the trade shows in the world is simply the Canton Fair. This is the god of the trade shows. So it's a must-see, must-visit thing because... You're you're just gonna be ex in insanely it's it's an insanely advantageous experience for any person who comes there, who has determination and wants to do business and wants to sell their product, and find new products. That's amazing. Yeah, I completely agree with all of those benefits. Uh, the key benefits really just being exposure to so much experience, building your network attending the king of all trade shows, um, experiencing the innovation and so many different products you're you're not even exposed to. Like you said, you're just barely scratching the surface when you're searching online. Um, so whether or not you're starting a brand new business or you haven't even started yet and you just want this exposure, I mean, imagine the years of experience with the mentors alone. Uh, <laughs> you're just going to you know, we were literally developing brands together, walking the fair for so many years and trips uh, together. So it's just the the creativity in being in a group like that, the friendships that you're going to make for life, the fun we're going to have. We're going to have so much fun. Um, it's, it's just really worth it. So I'm going to share my screen and show you guys how you can sign up. Um, you can go to amazingathome.com forward slash China. And um, you can learn more about the trip. You can see, you know, what we're doing, our schedules, all of our amazing mentors. Um, you can learn about the phases, what we're going to be doing. You can also connect with us on WhatsApp if you have questions about the trip. But our prices are going up very soon because hotel prices are going up. So we need you to book if you are going to decide to go. It takes some time to get your visa as well. Uh, you need to have a passport, that kind of stuff. So we have an FAQ section here on our website. You can check it out and, you know, lots of that kind of stuff. There's also a section where you can email us at the bottom of the page here. So, you know, we're going to be attending both phase two, phases two and three. We're going to be visiting Alibaba's offices. We're going to be having great food together, great fun together, doing some excursions in town, all of that. Uh, we're going to be hanging out. So um, this trip is 10 days in total. You arrive on the 24th, you depart on the 2nd, uh, and you guys can go to amazingathome.com forward slash China to sign up for the trip, to ask us questions, to connect with us. Uh, but do not delay because we are running out of space and running out of time and we need to get our rooms booked and it takes some time to get that travel accommodated for. So I guess that's about it, Yulia. Anything else to add before we wrap it up today? Uh, I think one of the things I would say to people, don't miss your chance because honestly, this will be a chance of a lifetime for you. This will change you and your business forever and for the better. Um, this is just taking a step towards, you know, as cheesy as it sounds, towards a brighter, better future for oneself and towards growing your business like crazy. Yeah. Amazing. I agree. Don't miss your chance. And hopefully that chance will be with us in China. We'll see you there. Bye.